in medicine, there's something that we refer to called vital signs. These are medical signs that give us fundamental clues about your general body function, okay? Your heart rate, your blood pressure, your temperature, respiratory rate, those things. Give us like a baseline measurement of your general body's health. Well, morning wood for penis owners is also a vital sign, yeah. So let's break it down. Erections are essentially blood flowing, entering or filling into the penis to make it firm so it can penetrate. Morning wood, what we refer to as morning wood, actually refers to uncontrolled erections that occur while sleeping. Actually morning wood, even though it's referring to like the erection that you may notice when you wake up, really what's happening is that there are multiple erections that are probably occurring while you sleep. In fact, it's normal for penis owners to have three to five nocturnal erections while they sleep in an eight hour period. This is normal and a sign of a healthy penis. But what does morning wood have to say about your heart and being a vital sign? Well, erections are about blood flow, remember, and heart and hardening of the of blood vessels or arteriosclerosis affects the smallest blood vessels that are in the penis first before it affects the bigger blood vessels the ones that go to our heart and our brain and cause other problems that manifest and so and morning wood is one of the first things to decline or go when erectile dysfunction starts so before things start to get kind of unreliable in the bedroom you may notice that you aren't getting morning erections. And erectile dysfunction being an independent risk factor for heart disease in the future, in that way, morning wood can be a window into your heart. If you are not noticing those nocturnal erections, they're gone, that may be a very early indicator that you need to get your heart in check. I wanna pause for a moment and just talk about the difference in the two major types of erectile dysfunction. Because in 10% of erectile dysfunction, it's called some, it's psychological erectile dysfunction. What does that mean? That means that you can't get it up because of social or psychological factors. You're too stressed out at work, too anxious about this hot date that you have to, you know, perform for, you're depressed, um, you your relationship sucks, those things. And so in those individuals, nocturnal erections, which are the erections they don't have any control over really, are still there. And that's actually a really telltale sign that we use in urology to differentiate between psychological erectile dysfunction and the other type, which is vastly more common, 90%, which we call organic or physical erectile dysfunction. And that's when there's an actual physical abnormality in how blood is getting into the penis. It's something's not working correct to keep blood filling into the penis. This type of erectile dysfunction, which we call organic erectile dysfunction, that is, not maybe, is a independent risk factor for heart disease. Your risk of having a heart attack or stroke over the next three to five years when you have erectile dysfunction is significantly higher. So what can you do about this, okay? What can we do? Well, number one, remember this. What's good for your heart is good for your penis. Adopt healthy lifestyle changes. And it's never too late to adopt this and never too early. So exercise regularly, eat healthy, well-balanced meals, please stop smoking, ditch the illegal drugs. And number two, see a doctor regularly. Whether you feel great in the best shape of your life, never had a sniffle, cough, or cold, you need to be seen regularly just for a well checkup by a physician. This is how we screen for common diseases that may go hidden in your body. Your body is not gonna tell you, you have diabetes, you have high blood pressure, you have high cholesterol that needs to get in check, okay? And these are the silent killers for your penis. So, healthy lifestyle, regular checks up, checkups with your doctor are a great place to start. Remember, your penis is a barometer